G'day, my name is Luke, and this is my wife, Jen. And here are our two growing boys, Liam and Elliot. We've been fishing, boating, and exploring the pristine waters of the Fraser Coast for about 10 years now. So subscribe and come join the adventure. G'day folks, Luke here. Thank you so much for watching. Well, we're out for a late afternoon family boating session. Liam's up the front getting some much needed casting practice. Ripping it back, practicing, imagining there's a long tail tuna chasing that lure. Anyway, we, um, we started at Moon Point, which is just behind us over there. Uh, pulled up there briefly, had a bit of a fish, and uh, I'll show you the footage. We caught, uh, caught dinner. Over in the distance there is uh, Pelican Bank and we've done a video on Pelican Bank in the past and I'll, I'll whack the link up so you can uh, see that it's a it's a must visit boating destination a lot of the tour boats and everything go there but you get these little gems that just pop up now and again and this is this is gorgeous the water is crystal clear there's no one on it except us uh, bird life and we're hoping a few fish so um, these little sort of treasures pop up now and again. So I'll show you overhead on Google roughly where we are so you can have a bit of a look around here. Righto folks, I was going to do this on Google Earth, but I figure because it has navigation information in it, I might as well use a chart. This is a really handy one to grab if you're visiting the Fraser Coast to go boating. Um, it shows from the top of Fraser Island all the way down to Rainbow Beach. All right. Um, and all the way across Barham Heads, up the coast towards Bundaberg as well. All right, so it's a really good chart. You can find it at one of the local tackle shops for sure. Okay, so to get to Moon Point, your Angan Boat Harbour here. This is where we departed from. Um, we shoot across the first channel to EU1, which is a yellow marker. Now you want to pass this yellow marker EU1 quite closely on its right hand side because there is quite a narrow channel through these sandbanks. Once you're past EU1, reorientate onto the red marker known as EU2. Okay, go past the red marker EU2, reorientate towards Big Woody North, so the northern cardinal for Big Woody Island. Okay, past that one as well. And then you need to go across these deep water channels. And we've spoken a lot in our videos about um, conditions when you have wind against tide in these deep water channels. So you just need to watch that area. The next marker you'll see is a red marker just off Pelican Bank called S8. Okay, so come past that. Come past on the southern side of that and reorientate yourself towards Moon Point. Now there's a lot of sandbanks in through this area. Okay, so you need to take it easy and find your way through until you reach Moon Point. And then you've got Bridge Gutter, which is where we were sitting in, okay, right next to this anchorage symbol. And just to the south here was a little sandbank that was exposed, which is our secret deserted island. Really safe area to anchor your boat, very easy to navigate in once you get in there, okay. Um, and probably the biggest thing you need to watch shallow reef on the top of Big Woody Island okay so you want to go around these navigation markers and the weather as you come across these channels but apart from that it should be a fairly easy and cool trip make sure you grab a chart and you're familiar 
with the chart for the area that you're going well, to. Tell me, Elliot. Tell me what we've found on this island. Nothing. Nothing? You're probably well, right. Only, only birds and shoulder groups. Okay. Is this the first sign of life on the island? Yeah, real, another really easy to get to boating destination. Um, and Harvey Bay is literally 10, 15 minutes just over there. So uh, you're isolated, but not that isolated, if you know what I mean. Anyway, we'll show you a few highlights of what we're up to and uh, give you the details so you can do it yourself. She's pushing against the wind. I think she's getting a bit of a workout on the paddleboard today. The tide happens to be ripping out that way. The wind is going that way. <laughs> Everything against it. <laughs> so it's a beautiful spot, but it's all ripping right that way. And she's trying to go this way. You can do it. Don't give up. She's doing better than me. I can't even stand up on the thing, so. Woohoo! Done! At least you're not moving the boat as well. Yeah, yeah. Stationary now. I kept trying to film and then the second I stopped... <laughs> you just start drifting off. Okay, so it's getting to the end of the day. Uh, low tide is around 4pm, uh, 1600. So, we're going to just slowly pack. I'm just moving us out into deeper water. Um, pack everything up and we're going to just hit one or two spots at the artificial reef on the way home. Even though we've got the flathead for dinner. See if we can pick something else up as well. Um, I'm quite keen to try and get Liam in particular onto something decent on the jig, so that'll be amusing, hopefully. And then uh, we'll shoot in before the sun goes down. So we're in April now here on the Fraser Coast. Um, nighttime temperatures are starting to drop. For us locals, it's like a plummeted. Anything below 20 degrees is Duna weather. Um, but it's sort of getting into the sort of mid to low teens at night time so it can get quite chilly quite quickly out on the water so you need to make sure you prepare for that as well uh, coming into may june june it gets particularly chilly bug boot weather on the boat in june so we'll go give that a crack on the way home and then uh hopefully we can pull something up and show you on the on Keep that pressure on. Oh, that, that was a big... <laughs> that that muscle. On the way home. That felt now he's going to circle, all right? You got the net ready? Keep pumping. No, you don't need the net, oh. do you? Right. Don't stop, don't give him anything, because there's sharks here. Now your arms go. Feeling it's a bit tired? Right? down. Need Dad's help? I can't get up. Hey, long tail fight dirty, mate. Oh, I just saw a flash. That's oh, I see it, I see it. I saw a flash I saw too. It. It's under the... Oh, oh shoot! Oh. Holy crap. Oh. Um, it's sinking. I put a... Did you get sent a new rod today? I did. Oh my I gosh. I should not have done that. Whoa, all the line and everything's... What happened there? Oh, mate, bad luck. Has Dad ever had that happen? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you were so no. close. We did have a lock up pretty hard. Oh. Where did the rock It just go? sank. It's so Oh, I no. didn't. I saw it and I didn't want to put my hand in because I didn't know if there were sharks around, but it just sank pretty fast. What have we done? What have we, who have we angered? Oh, I don't know. How did that feel, That then? was a nice big fish, mate. We've got to do it again now. Ha, 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 ha.
I would love to get your thoughts on what you suspect went wrong, folks. <sighs> Deep breaths, it'll all go away. Anyway, next week we head off chasing absolute giants of the deep at Kungal Creek on Fraser Island. See you then.